Hey guys, Steve here from NextGen AI, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at using the brand new version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet to create amazingly awesome SEO blog posts, okay? Claude really, really is the business when it comes to writing AI-optimized SEO blog posts, and it's got even better with the recent update. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a secret prompt that I use to create awesome blog posts that get really high SEO scores straight off the bat and you're gonna have no problems ranking with, okay? Right now, the issue is that everybody is just producing mass AI content, but they don't really know what they're doing and Google doesn't like AI spam. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to do it, including using LSIs and entities and also emphasizing quality control to make sure that your blog post is gonna rank highly. So let's get into it. So right now I am on Claude. Yes, I'm on a professional plan, okay, for Claude, but you do get access to the new version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet on the free plan. You just won't get to ask it many questions. You'll burn through your allocation very, very quickly, okay? So how can I help you today, Claude? Great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I kind of structure my prompts, right? What people tend to do with this AI generated content is just to whack everything into one prompt and then wonder why their SEO score is low or wonder why their uh, the output isn't good or wonder why the um, their blog post isn't ranking. So I'm gonna take you over to my, uh, my prompts doc here. So first of all, we're gonna break our prompt system for Claude down into three different parts. We're gonna have what's called a system prompt. Although it's not really a system prompt in this effect because we're not putting it into an agent, we're just gonna put it into the chat, but let's call it a system prompt for now, okay? And we're gonna give it some context. So we're basically pretending or we're asking Claude to, um, to masquerade as a seasoned SEO blog post writer, okay? So you are a seasoned SEO blog post writer with a proven track record of creating compelling, interesting content that people love to read. Good so far. You will create content that will always outrank other websites, right? Why not? Aim for the stars. The goal is to write a detailed, human-readable, SEO-optimized blog post that ranks well on search engines and provides value to the reader, okay? So we've set Claude up to kind of understand who it is, um, who Claude is, he or she is, and give us some context about what they're about to do, all right? So the second part of this um, this prompt is probably the most important, I would say, because people just, and especially people who are not experienced with SEO, who are just kind of getting into AI, they don't really understand the um, the inner workings of, uh, of SEO. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use what's called an outline prompt. So essentially, we're gonna give Claude even more context to work with by generating the SEO outline for our article, and then it was essentially write the article based off the outline, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna give it um, a task. It's gonna be your first task is to write a structured and comprehensive blog out post outline for an article about the health benefits of green tea, okay? I've chosen a super competitive keyword uh, to do this article on, right? Um, it's virtually impossible to rank for this keyword, okay? Unless you're some DR90 website or you're the, the inventor of green tea themselves, okay? Um, but yeah, we're gonna go with this because there's a lot of information out there and we should get a good article. Ensuring SEO uh, practices are followed. So the guidelines for this prompt is, um, we're giving it some guidelines here, for example, define the purpose of the article, structure the, the blog with a clear and draw body and conclusion, H2s, H3s, uh, include FAQ, et cetera, okay? So what we want is, we basically wanted to come up with the topics or the headings that we want to cover in this blog post. And by doing this, we're gonna ensure that our final article is of better quality than if we just stuck everything into one um, into one prompt and didn't give Claude any context about who it is um, and didn't give it any context about the outline as well. This is how professional writers write SEO articles, okay? They come up with outlines, they do topic research, they find out exactly what headings or what topics they need to cover in this article, and then they write based on that. And this is exactly how we're treating Claude here, okay? very intelligent. So we're gonna um, use this as the second part of our prompt, okay? Now there is a third thing we can do before we actually write the blog post itself. Um, in fact, I would say the difference between adding this in is like night and day to your output or 
to the quality of what you get back. That's including entities and LSIs, okay? So there's a special way um, to do that. I use a tool called Neuron Writer. I suppose you could use Claude to do it as well, but you wanna get some um, some accurate statistics. So I've gone ahead and loaded up Neuron Writer, and I've just simply, I wanna search for green tea articles, and it's given me um, a list here of uh, different uh, LSIs and entities and headings that we should probably include in, in our article. And it's based this off um, articles that are currently ranking in the SERPs right now, in Google right now. And it's a really easy way to do this. You simply click copy. This is why I like using Neuron Writer and uh, copy the list of visible terms. So we're gonna add this to our prompt and we're gonna say in our outline, um, emphasize and this is really important okay our emphasis on uh keyword lsis and entities and i'm gonna in fact i'm gonna say heavily emphasize apologies why whenever i record does my brain stop working and i'm gonna simply paste that here okay so let's put in all the different um LSI, uh, title terms, description terms, etc. All the LSIs and entities here um, as well. So by putting heavy emphasis on this, it's given the um, Claude the basis of to know how to write the outline, what topics to cover, etc. What headings to cover. Okay, this is really really important. I found the difference in quality when you um, when you give it some context like this. Um, it's like night and day, all right? So we've got the first kind of two um, parts of our uh, prompt. We've got, we're calling it our system prompt, but we're giving it context, and then we're giving it an outline to write. So you can go ahead and uh, paste these first two um, prompts into Claude. So I'm gonna put this first one into Claude right now, and it should give us, you know, thanks for that, I, uh, I understand the job, etc. cetera. Yep, I understand you'd like me to help with this, blah, 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 blah. Before I start writing, it would help, uh, be helpful to know a bit more information okay so claude is up for the job it kind of understands the basics right now so then i'm going to go ahead and pay, uh, copy and paste my second prompt which is the outline prompt so yep it's a bit long simply because we copied and pasted all the lsis and entities um from neuron writer that were suggested and i'm going to go ahead and put that into claude so while that's working, um, I just want to talk a little bit about our final article. So we really need to do some quality control um, around this. So um, I'm going to ask for the actual blog post itself. Use the outline generated. So we want to refer back to the outline uh, post. And we want to say, um, please write an informative and engaging SEO post that ranks on the search engines based on the outline, okay? And here I've just done some quality control, right? Write a simple, easy to read style, markdown format, avoid AI buzzwords, write in an eighth grade readable level, okay? This is really, really important. Meta tags, give it some character limits, etc. Keyword density, give it a word count. You wanna give it as much information as you can, okay? You wanna get the best possible result out of this. And hopefully right now, we're gonna see Claude um, write in our outline, okay? So here we go, here's what we've got. The health benefits of green tea, comprehensive guide to nature's superfood, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we've got a med description, an intro, um, and all our H1s, H2s, H3s, etc. And so we've got our, in conclusion and references, we've got our outline here. Now this is not the article, okay? This is, this is just the outline that Claude is gonna base the article on. So now we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, use our uh, prompt for creating the article itself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this here and whack that in there. And we should get a article based on the overview back as well. Okay, so as we can see, it's writing it uh, right now in front of our very eyes. Okay, uh, really, really awesome. So yeah, you can see we've used Neuron Writer, first of all, to uh, get the key, uh, the LSIs and entities, and we've used a three-part prompt process using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which right now is the best blog writer in terms of free tools. Um, or not so free if you're um, if you're paying for the uh, for the um, subscription. But yeah, and as you can see, we've got our blog post back here. All right, so we can go down and we can see absolutely everything. Uh, we've even 
even got commonly asked questions, uh, conclusion, the bottom line, etc. And there we have it. Okay, so you've got something there. And we can further go ahead and add even more quality control to this. Okay, we can go ahead and take a look at the SERPs inside Google and just to see how it matches up, etc. etc. We can even stick that into Neuron Writer and see what we've come up with. We, we've got, and I'm really happy to say that off the bat of when I did earlier, we've got a score of 60, SEO score of 68 straight out of the bat, okay, on green tea, all right? And this was using the exact same method. I simply copied and pasted the, um, the LSIs and entities and whacked them into Clause 3.5 SONA. As we can see, um, everything is really, really good. We've got the bottom line, the conclusion here, 68 without any kind of optimization whatsoever. That's a great starting point. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully you can see how easy it is to write um, amazing blog posts using Claude 3.5 that are going to rank. Now, if you, you know, what I will say, guys, is that you do have to edit AI generated content and you have to put on quality control because otherwise Google is just going to recognize it as spam. And at the moment, the AI content spam is everywhere. But if you do this, if you put in quality control, if you edit, if you add in EEAT, if you put in personal experience, if you put in like key takeaways or things that only you can come up with, spend a little bit of time um, on each article and you're going to see a much, much better result. Okay. And you're going to um, see rankings. You're going to see results. You're going to see conversions. Okay. So that's like my top tip. All right. Now, I want to want to finish this video off with, um, you know, I've kind of shown you everything, the manual way to do things, right? Well, manual manual with AI assistance, but there is a way you can actually completely automate this whole process, um, including really tricky part, the internal and external linking. Okay. Cause you need external and internal links for your articles to rank. It's usually a painstaking process to kind of research relevant, uh, citations and you know stick them in manually into your articles and then do internal link into other articles etc it's a painstaking process but there is a really, really fast uh, way to be able to do this okay in fact it takes care of the entire process that I've shown you today regarding AI uh, blog generation and to do that I use a tool called journalist AI um, it's a really really amazing AI also uh, optimized SEO blog writing platform. All right. Um, it's the one that I've been using now for a while. Um, it's really, really easy to use and it auto blogs straight to your WordPress, your Shopify, to your ghost, wherever you're using right now. So I used it to generate this article on uh, baking bread. Uh, everyone loves bread, right? I had some sourdough earlier myself. And why it's really good is because you, you get SEO, good SEO score straight out of the bat. It's really easy to use. It auto blogs, so you can quite literally set up to post one post a day, two posts a day, up to you. But it's got this really awesome functional AI SEO editor. So say, for example, I wasn't happy with this paragraph here. I simply highlight it and it gives me a bunch of different options. Okay, I can rewrite it. I can simplify it. I can make it longer, make it shorter, even put the info into a list, make it into a table. I can even put a prompt here to ask the AI to generate. If I want to put extra keywords in there, more of the same keyword, additional keywords, I can do that as well. But this part here, this really is the money. Okay, internal and external links. If I want to put some external links here, the AI will then give me some really relevant um, fact-checked citations or fact-checked links, and I can stick them right in if I'm gonna put two there. There we go. That's it. Didn't have to research anything, didn't have to fact-check it, didn't have to, just easy as that, okay? And you can also do the same as well with internal links, you know, provided you've got uh, other articles in here on that keyword or in that topic cluster that you wanna to link to. Even better than that, when you set up the auto blogging process and you give it its parameters or you give journalists the, the parameters, you can actually automate this linking process as well and put it completely on autopilot. I want 10 internal links each article. I want 10 internal uh, external links each article. I want to put them naturally through the content. Okay. It really is that good. Okay. Guys, sign up to Journalist AI through my link below in the description. No credit card required. You get three free articles when you sign up just to check it out. And if you do decide to put, get onto a paid subscription, guys, it's not much money at all. You get 10% off through my link below, okay? And use the discount code as well. Go sign up to Journalist AI. It really is the business, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed that video on SEA optimized blog posts with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And I hope to see you on the next video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you do enjoy this content. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. And Sign up to Journalist AI. 
it's really, really good. See you on the next video. Thank you very much.